Hey guys, welcome back to MC Nail World. And if you're new here, hey, how you doing? So I'm gonna just go ahead and jump straight into this. We're doing some Eagle Claw nails, old school, throwing it back. I'm starting out by removing the shine from my natural nail with my e-file and i am using the koopa manny pro passport in the color charcoal and my sanding band is a i believe this one is a fine so it's like super super soft on my nail and it's been a while i already know it's been a while but jumping right back into it so these nail tips came from my local beauty supply store but they sell like nail products and stuff there too all the information for the things that i'm using in this video will be in the description down below so don't worry i got y'all i got y'all hopefully i can find the exact link to these if not then i'll still at least put the store website in the description so i was thinking you know should i do a little pop in on this video and talk through it or should i just tell you guys what i'm doing here and there but i decided i'm go ahead and talk to y'all because it's been a while it's been seven months and i'm almost ready to kick this thing into full motion so that we can do some regular uploading and i'll have a schedule established so that i can Make sure that y'all won't be just hawking and stalking my channel because I know, I know, I know I've been missing. But I'm going to catch y'all all up on everything that's been going on. So, of course, if you're new here, thank you. If you're old, thank you too. We hit 6K on here. I don't even remember when. I took screenshots of the accomplishments because I was like, let me make sure I know what date I hit it. So thank y'all for 6K. Can't wait to see 60K, you know. <laughs> <laughs> nah, just playing. Nah, but I'm really, really appreciative of people still deciding to hit subscribe, liking, and commenting, even though I've been MIA. So I'm just applying these tips with some generic nail glue, and it was working horribly. It was cold. It was kind of jelly looking, so I just made it work. If you notice that I'm holding the tips down longer than normal, it's because the glue was trash. You see, it doesn't even have a name on it. But I was just using any kind of glue that was in my drawer. So I sized the tips and everything, and then I'm just going in and putting them on. I did this video on live on Facebook. So basically, I'm just over here on YouTube, chopping it down, doing a voiceover, and uploading. You know how that go. But I, you can follow me and stuff on Facebook, but I'm not really super active on there. But, you know, it is what it is. I have all the information in the description below, though, just in case. So I'm applying these and I don't even remember. This wasn't like a fad thing or anything to do. I just legit posted these because I thought they was cute. But this is how they look sideways. They got a they have an extreme curve um i asked my viewers on live what shape should i do and they said that i should do stilettos so i went with stilettos and they came out looking super dope they weren't too too bulky but they were still like nice and i did not prime and prep these because i only kept them off for like a couple of days and then i popped them off also in the video you'll see that my nail beds are not as like ashy looking because i did apply some cuticle oil to my actual nail beds to help them pop off a little bit sooner because i didn't want to keep these on long i just wanted to just put on some nails just to have fun for a few days so that's a little tip put some cuticle oil on your nail beds if you don't want them to stay long and um don't prep and prime either just don't mean like don't dehydrate and use a primer so i just take the scissors and i cut in like a v-shape to get the excess part of the nail tip off. And then I'm going in with my 8080 grit box white nail file and shaping them up. The dog is in the room with me right now while I'm doing his voiceover. And he's highly irritated with me because he was asleep and I started talking. So yeah, he's not liking me being in here talking right now. So I'm just gonna use the file and shape up the sides, just perfecting the shape a little bit. 
Um, I know even though I'm telling you guys where I got these nail tips from, I will be doing a whole series on things to use as a beginner, things to use, you know, they're more aimed towards a advanced nail tech and so on and so forth. So this is how the acrylic looks that I'm going to be using. And I was just pairing it up with the pink that I made to see how they look with each other to see if it looks nice. So pretty soon I will be doing the beginner series though. And it's going to include like a full video of all the nail tips that I use. And that way, every time I use some nail tips in a video, I could just reference you back to that video and let people know why I'm using different kind of tips and how the different tips are going to look on the nail bed and stuff. So this acrylic is from Vanessa Nails and I'm not going to spill anything, but I do have a first impressions video coming out from when I first received this product in the mail. And no, nothing I do is sponsored. I pay for products out of my own pocket. So on this nail, I applied the pink acrylic at the back. And the pink acrylic is a custom mix by me. So it doesn't really have a name or anything. It's just something I mixed up. I applied that at the back of the nail bed because I wanted to do more of a pink to glitter ombre. So I pick up small beads when I'm working on my own hand. Instead of me picking up really, really super big beads and then they run everywhere and they're uncontrollable. So to keep the control, I use smaller beads and work on my ratio a little bit so that the beads aren't super runny. I blend that pink acrylic down and then I'm going to apply the glitter, blend that into the pink and then also pull it down the free edge of the nail. I almost forgot what it was called. I'm talking about down the... <laughs> So I have missed y'all and I have done so much stuff since the last video that I posted. I've recorded so many things. I just need to sit down, edit it and upload it. And there's so much that's been going on. If you attended the nail tour, thank you so much for attending. Um, I hope you learned some information to help you out on your nail journey and your nail career. I cannot say thank you enough for attending because it was a roller coaster. <laughs> I mean, it, it, goodness gracious. I'll do a whole story time on all those different events that occurred, though. So after you get the glitter to where you feel like it's blended in enough, you're going to just go ahead and cap that. And clear but I went over it with a little bit more pink because I wanted the ombre transition part to look more like more of a transition instead of it just jumping from glitter to pink so you're gonna cap it in a thin layer of clear though so that when you file you don't file off that nice pretty ombre that you already created and then on my index finger I went in first with the glitter instead of the pink because I wanted to make a different look even though it's ombre, you'll see the difference though. Even though it's ombre, starting with glitter instead of starting with your back color or transition color, it's it makes a it makes it look different when you're done with the final look. And you'll see it's gonna look different. So as you can see, I used just a little bit of pink back there, and I didn't pick up too much, so that it won't be running everywhere, and I have to chase it, and it won't flood my cuticles and stuff. So you want to make sure your consistency and your ratio is good to where you can still move it and play with it without it drying too fast and without it being runny. So remember to always work on your ratio, no matter how advanced you are. When you're working on different products, all of them have different ratios that you have to use. It's not just like one, two, three, boom, you're done. Yeah, you gotta play with different products and stuff. So again, I'm gonna cap that one in clear also and then move on to the pinky and the thumb. I don't like how the thumb came out on this one, but it is what it is. Things happen. If you used to rock hump nails back in the day or you still do, boo, <laughs> eh, leave a comment below and let me know if you did or you still do. And no hate will be tolerated. Nails are an expression of art and an expression of love. So please don't come on my 
hating because I really don't feel like banning and blocking. But I will if I have to, baby. I will if I have to. So I'm just going to go in with my e-file. And I'm using a 3-in-1 sanding bin. Well, not sanding bin. That's not a sanding bin. A 3-in-1 bit, fine, medium coarse. I get it here from my local nail supply store. They That store in particular does not have an online web page. So you can't buy that one on, online. But I'm going in and perfecting just the cuticle area, cleaning up the shape, going underneath the nail if I have to. Any excess product may or may not have dripped down there. Probably not. But just cleaning up everything, getting it all nice and cute. Then I'm going to go in with the same 8080 grit file and clean up the shaping just to make sure everything is all snatched in. And as you can see from the side, they're not super bulky. They have an apex. They're flush at the cuticle, and they're not bulky like chewing gum or bubble nails. So that's another reason why I like them, because they weren't overly done. They weren't overly curved. Like, the curve was there, but everything else was done nice and neat. So that's why I like how the, these came out, really, because I could have messed them up. This is my first time using these nail tips, and I've been having these nail tips since before I got licensed. So at least probably like four years almost I've had these nail tips and I've never used them on a client never used them on myself so I was just like you know what I'm about to try these nails I'm about to try these tips and see how they do and they came out super dope I will be doing them again on myself or somebody else if they want some one day when I start taking clients again because I smashed these like they came out super dope then I also went in, I don't even know what the, it's like a piercing tool for nails. I went in with it next and like screwed, like you, you twist it to drill a hole into your nail. That's, I'll post a link to where you can purchase that also. And um, I added some bling, put some rings on the side of a nail and top coat it and boom, they were done. So thank y'all so, so much for just even sticking around this long because sis been talking for 12 minutes thank y'all for sticking around but things have been super crazy um in a bad way and in a good way so i really can't say things have been super crazy bad but i'm getting there i'm getting there slowly but surely it's obstacles to be you know it's an obstacle course and it's obstacles to be climbed over and accomplished i gotta overcome things and accomplish things and there are barriers but they are not stop signs they're just an obstacle for me to climb over so that i can get to where i'm going next and i do know that there are people that really, really need nails. Not like on their hand, but you need nails as a comfort. And I think I'm one of those people now because nails are really, really calming to me. And I'm just sitting here watching myself file these nails and they are really, really dope. So this is how the nails came out after I finished filing for my life <laughs> after i finished filing for my life this is how the nails ended up and i think they came out super 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 cute but you know i'm gonna leave that up to y'all if you think they came out dope let me know down below if you think they came out meh let me know down below and don't forget to like comment subscribe Watch all my other videos and follow me everywhere on social media to keep up with what I'm doing and where I'm going. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Bye. Until next time.